Tonight and every night in Shaftesbury Avenue, the main street of London's show business. This has been theatre land during most of our lifetimes. A lane of memories of unforgettable tunes and starlight. For every hit of today, there are a dozen echoes of the glamorous yesterdays. And in the byways of theatre land, you find the film world with its capital in Water Street. Here is the meeting place of Hollywood and Elstree. Yet, oddly enough, it was a Frenchman who brought films to Water Street. For it was here in 1910 that Charles Pathé came from Paris to found the first British newsreel. Perhaps the only piece of Water Street antiquity, the name Pathé Frère and the cockerel symbolic of France. For this national emblem was the origin of screen trademark known wherever pictures are shown. The shape of films to come in an industry shop window. But here the wares are only displayed to be sold to the trade. For the studios where these films were made are far away, in Elstree, in Pinewood, in California. Water Street is principally the marketplace of the products of the big studios. But there is one place at the top of Water Street and the corner of Oxford Street, with its millions of shoppers, where films are produced. From this building, unremarkable to the thousands of bus passengers who pass by day after day, from here comes a yearly output of film equal to more than 20 full-length feature films. Most days, there's someone interesting going into this building like Susan Stephen and her husband, Lawrence Ward. Tonight is rather a special occasion, an invited audience to see films in one of the luxurious little private theatres. A private performance, except that we are going to join them very soon. Next to arrive is top fashion model Sylvia Shelley, with a star of tomorrow, June Thorburn and her husband. But first, a peep inside this building, this film production center in the heart of a city. High on the top floor above Oxford Street and Soho are the vaults, the film treasure houses. This is yesterday. The headlines and the highlights, the history books of our times, the mirror in which our grandchildren will see us. On film, our yesterdays endure for generations to come. In this building, there is preserved film from the very beginning of moving pictures. But tonight, there will be no historic moments, no royal occasions. These are memories of tunes and clothes and favorites that have delighted us for four decades. This is a panorama of our happiest hours, for this is a birthday party, the 37th birthday of the only weekly film magazine in the world, Britain's Pathé Pictorial. From now on, the pictorial will be wholly in color. But before saying goodbye to the black and white world, Pathé have invited to their private theater some of the many people who have appeared in the pictorial. Some were stars and still are stars. Others have retired from the scene. Others, like Gene Simmons, were unknown then. Some have found new careers, like Victor Sylvester, who won fame as a dance teacher and now has a second successful career as a band leader. And here are other famous band leaders, Henry Hall and Jack Payne. The celebrities have come back to Pathé House to journey back to their yesterdays, and we must not delay them. Howard Thomas, Pathé's production chief, and Terry Ashwood, who runs Pathé Pictorial, are ready to start the show.